Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to have a bit of a play um, with some Christmas ephemera and I thought I would kick it off really, um, you know, with some um, clusters from my Christmas, my candied Christmas kit. And I recently did a Christmas card where I used an oval here as you can see, punched out of the paper. So I thought this would be a really fantastic base to make my clusters with. So I brought along my oval punch and then some of the papers that I've already kind of cut out. So, you know, they're like effectively scraps now, just because I'm trying to be, um, you know, <laughs> using little scraps and bits up. So I'm just going to cut some, or punch some ovals out in the first case. Um, let's see if I can just get this like as much as I can in there. Okay, and then I'll go across to the trees, I think, like that. Actually, do I want to get the tops of the trees in? Probably. Okay, might just have to leave this gorgeous little robin because we might be able to use him somewhere else. And I'll just do another one from this blue whoops like that gosh this punch feels really heavy it's um yeah heavy to hold for some reason like that and yeah I'll again leave that middle bit and then we'll just do one more I mean I'm probably being way too ambitious to do any more than five. Oh, that's kind of nice on its own to be honest um decide which I mean effectively most of this oval base is actually going to be covered up obviously by the other things on the cluster so you know I mustn't get too hung up on the bits that I'm using but that's why I didn't want to use anything too pretty because then I would really struggle to cover it up so these are our little bits and then I'm just going to kind of line them with some bits and pieces so again I've brought some of that blue lace along that we had been using so I'm just going to cut some down so as we've got some to use. And I've gone really for the white doily. Um, yeah, I don't really know why, but I'm kind of just liking the kind of more crisp, I guess like snowy type colours rather than like coffee dyed type colours, I think. So I'm going to just incorporate some white doily on some of these bits and pieces so I mean like I say most of these bits are going to be really covered up anyway so that's the problem when you use kind of papers where you know where you like all the pattern it's sometimes really hard to actually cover it up isn't it I mean like that that's so pretty isn't it that I'm struggling to cover that up but you know effectively it, it needs to be covered up because otherwise of course how am I going to make my my cluster at all so and again, this, I'm loving those blue trees, so I'm not really wanting to cover them up, but you know, again, they have to be covered, I guess. So I'll just tear a little bit more doily. There we go. And I'll just put that just there, I think, or maybe here. Maybe here, I mean, it probably doesn't really matter to be honest where it goes. And then I've got loads of bits from my kit that I've already cut out, so we can just start layering up some little bits and pieces. Oops, my scan and cuts kind of cut into that bow. That's a shame, isn't it? Okay. So for instance, on this one, we could have that, or would we prefer it on? Oh, it's quite nice on all of them. I'm quite loving it on the pink, I have to say. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, just love all these little bits and bobs. We've got these gorgeous um, baubles. And I could actually have a couple this way up. I hadn't really thought of that, but yeah, we could have a couple that way up, couldn't we? That might look quite nice. Got a little bit of red lace, which I did have some other red lace from the Christmas card, and I'm not sure now where that even's gone. <coughs> okay. Kind of nice isn't it and then just cutting off some of these headery type bits because they're quite thick 
on here. Oh, that looks so pretty. Just trying to keep those little trees really in the background on there. And also, actually, I also bought along some postage stamps and thought that they might look quite good. So just see if I've got any really nice bright red ones. That's quite a good one. I could probably have that maybe in there. It's quite nice, isn't it? And then I've got some lovely blue ones, which we could have sort of tucked in here. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Then I've got another little Should really sort of stick some of these bits down to be honest so perhaps we should should do that a bit as we go so let's just pop some down here and then I'm just going to stick that lace across and we'll just pop the postage stamp on like that and then just going to use my fabric glue to pop the bow down. Okay. So that's pretty, isn't it? And then just press that down like that. I mean, isn't that just a gorgeous cluster? Really, really pretty. So this one, we'll just again do sort of same again. So I'm just going to stick the doily on in the back. Like that. And we want the postage stamp. And then we want some of the red lace. like that and then this super cute little bauble yeah that's how it like that I think so I might just hot glue this on because then I can have it sort of a bit more raised and bumpy I'll just put that like that and sort of not really pressing it down too much and then I just keep that sort of raised effect there, which is quite nice. Okay, oops, just put in some of those hot glue because obviously I glued all around there, you know, not really, not really thinking where it was going to be positioned on there. And then here I've got this. Now I'm just wondering whether I'd like to have these on here as well. Should I? Now these are just going to be hideous to fussy cut these out, aren't they? But let's see. Okie dokie. Get that out of the way. And oops, oh my gosh, this is just really fiddly. Oh, come on. These are probably going to be better on a blue background because I've got some blue left showing. So, yeah, I'll probably have to put these on a different one. I was going to put them on here, but I think they're going to be better on blue because then, of course, you know, anywhere where the blue background is isn't going to show so much. Whereas it's going to stand out like a sore thumb on the pink. Okay. Oops. And there like that. And just oh gosh. Oh, 
this is so fiddly. <laughs> I can't really see because the other piece of the candy cane was kind of coming up. So uh, blocking my view. Just going to cut that end off slightly. Okay, well, not too, too bad. So, yeah, they're going to look really sweet on something, but I'm not sure whether... Yeah, they're going to look better on blue because, of course, there's a bit of blue, you know, still left on them. So we could have them like that. And then what else could we have with them? Do we have a ticket? Quite cute, isn't it? Yeah, that looks quite nice, I think. So I think we'll just layer that up. Oops. Okie dokie. So I hope everyone's having a good day. It's an okay day here. It's um, a little bit grey. Not, not too bad. It's not kind of dark, but it's just a bit bit nothingy it's just got nothing kind of <laughs> nothing going on about it today but you know that's probably preferable to being you know all singing all dancing rain that's um yeah that's not great is it so I'd prefer it just being completely nothingy really but it just seems a bit boring but probably preferable I'm just going to cut that off again that and then we'll just pop the ticket on Oops. oh my gosh look my pin was stuck on the glue you can hear the birds there don't know what's going on outside but something was um attracting them obviously And then I'm just going to have those candy canes on there. And then I've got a couple of little bits and pieces here, which I thought might look quite pretty. So we could have like a little bow to the side or maybe a bow actually on them. So, oh gosh, these are going to be a fiddly one to, to glue on. Did I glue that down? Yeah. Oh, don't they look so cute on there? Ah, oh, what is this about candy canes? They just look so pretty, don't they? So I'm going to do some finishing touches on these clusters in a minute. We're just doing the kind of basic first. Um, not basic, but basics first. And then we'll put some extra finishing kind of pieces and bits on. So again, let's see what we might want with the... With the lantern, we could have a wreath. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Yeah, I love how that looks. Okay, let's just pop the doily down. Okay, okay. And the wreath there. Oops, just unclog my glue. I don't think it's really clogged up, but I seem to want to just make a fuss and not play the game. So, uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okie dokie. And we'll just have that gorgeous little lantern on there. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay. Pop that to one side. And then the last one here. What should we put on here? 
Oh, we've got those gorgeous windows. They're lovely, aren't they? Or I've got these postage stamps. They're quite nice too. Perhaps that's kind of kind of cute, I think. So again, do we want some lace or something under there? Oh, come on. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, every time I touch it, so I'm kind of moving it out of the way. And then we could have a bit of holly or something. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's really sweet, isn't it? So I'm just going to kind of try and glue this like to the side. on like that and then should really use my fabric glue really as I'm gluing onto the lace sorry just wiping my glue nozzle and then just go down there like that and then just this little sprig of holly Like that, so gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, so that's my five. So I'll just move this stuff out the way a little bit, and then we're just going to kind of decorate them up a little bit more with some other bits and pieces. So, oops, they're really cute, aren't they? Really, really like them already. Uh, so, what should we have on them? I've got, as I say, some little bows and things which I thought this looked really cute on that one. I've also got these gorgeous little pearly things that we used these in the Christmas card. So I'm thinking that they might look quite nice on somewhere. So let's just take three. These are brilliant because they're on like a string, which just makes them so much easier to handle than when you're you know, picking them up individually. Well, I was going to have them there, but actually they're kind of quite nice on this side, I think. So that's just, oh my goodness, I'm struggling. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Right. Obviously they are on that string of sticky stuff, but I do really like to, you know, just give them a helping hand. Oh my goodness. You know, just in case that sticky stuff doesn't kind of quite stick down you know in the long term so I think it's good to just give them a bit of an extra help really Oops. again I really love that little bow I know it's a bit boring using the same kind of thing again but I love those red polka dot bows I mean I just bought a bunch of these from um, China you know I don't mean just I've had them for years um, and I've bought them, you know, more than once. But they're just so lovely. Uh, they might not have been from China, actually, now I'm just thinking. They may have been from a UK seller. Um, but you can get them in multi-colour packs and you can get them in, obviously, the, you know, the red. Well, or any, any other colour, but yeah, I really like the red. Now, wondering whether I want to just edge this with the red because we did do that with some of our other pieces and I know that it looked really, really nice. So I'm just going to get my red ink pad. Pop that onto my blending tool. So I'm going to start just up here where it's already got the red. Don't want to go too mad just in case. So I guess we could come down here a bit, couldn't we? Yeah, that might be kind of as much as I want to go. Do we want some red lace or anything hanging out? And that's kind of cute, isn't it? To just have that little bit poking out there. Yeah, 
might have to do that. I mean, it looks cute anyway, um, but I think it looks even cuter with the little bit of red. Now, how am I going to do this? Uh, right, let's just go just around here, I think. Like that. And then all I want to do is kind of have this a bit ruffled. So I'm going to pop it on there and then just try and ruffle it into the glue. Like that. Oops. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to sort of trim that corner off because it looked quite quite pointy. So, I mean, there's not too much red hanging out from there, but just a little bit. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? And obviously, look, you know, where it's kind of got that ruffle, it's now not laying flat. But once that's glued down onto something, that will lay flat. So, you know, that's fine. So that's that one. I think that looks really pretty now. Let's do this one now. Again, do we want any red kind of coming out behind there? Let me just put that there and see how it would look. Okay. I mean, the red's super festive, isn't it? This is candied apple. Um, there probably is a more festive red, to be fair, but that's the one that I've got, and it's, um, you know, it's perfectly fine. So I have got these gorgeous little flowers, which again, I thought might have been quite fun. Mm. I'm not sure actually, because it's got that lime green leaves, which, you know, they're kind of not quite right, are they? You know, it's, yeah, it's not quite matching, is it? I've got some festive brads. had these brads for years and years and years um, so I just wonder whether I could have any of these oh, on here at all if I don't flick them around the desk first obviously oops let's move those out of the way oh no definitely not that got that one that's kind of sweet um, look Because I'm thinking I could just kind of have that, you know, like over there. Or do we think that's one too many Christmas trees? Yeah, maybe that's one too many Christmas trees. But definitely I quite liked the look of the green. So I think maybe a few more of those little green dots. Because they look really pretty on there, didn't they? And you know me, I love the excuse to use a bit of colour. And this is such a gorgeous colour, isn't it? So... Again, just cut that little end piece off and then just cut that down. I guess I could just have one. That might be quite nice actually, just one. So yeah, hadn't really thought of doing that before but Maybe just have the one there. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Quite like that. So, oh gosh. <laughs> They're really sticky, so they probably don't need the help of the glue. But again, I will just stick it down with the glue. So, just put that there. Okay. I mean, it just gives it a bit of dimension, doesn't it? By having that bit of, um, you know, just that pearly thing on there. Let's just see whether we want any of the blue lace now. Yeah, that's quite pretty. Again, just kind of ruffling it round on the edge like that. 
And I mean, it's such a shame because you probably saw, but it looked really good how it was there. And, um, you know, of course now they probably won't be able to get it half as good. <clears throat> when I try and actually press this down. put that like that and then we just ruffle it round just a little bit you know not too madly ruffled but just just like that and just press that down oh my goodness come on oh. okay so that's that one really cute and again you know not too worried if it's a little bit kind of you know puffy at the moment because once it's glued down that will just flatten that so that's fine loving this blue one so much i yeah i'm not sure really what this blue one needs because to be honest i think it's so pretty on its own i'm not too sure whether i want to kind of put anything much on there um let's have a look i mean we could have a little green middle for the bow I do really like it, just being the blue and the red, weirdly enough. I think it looks really, really nice like that. But let's just try this. Oh, that is quite pretty, to be honest. It's quite subtle and understated, isn't it? So, yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Okie dokie, pop that, oh, in there. Oh, I love how that looks. Just gorgeous, to be honest. I mean, literally, it literally needed barely anything, didn't it? But it looks so, so pretty. And then this one, oh, how gorgeous does this look? Again, I absolutely love how this looks. I have got some more pink, uh, pink, red bows. Got these ones, these ones I just made myself, but it's got little stars on it. That's quite sweet, isn't it? So we could have that down there. It's not really laying completely flat, which is a bit of a shame, but hopefully it will be a bit better. But you know, once it's glued down, it will just kind of help it flatten down. But. And then do we want some red lace or anything on this one or do we really like it sort of being quite, I quite like it in the very delicate way it is, to be honest. Yeah, I think I quite like that, quite delicate and neutral. So then we've got this one, which, do we want this just here? Whoa, just here. Yeah, I love how that looks, so again, let me just put a new glue stick in. Nice, isn't it? Okay. And then do we want any of those little green balls? Because they are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, they look lovely, don't they? Just that little splash of colour, you know, of the green. Don't know which side to put them, probably this side, I think. So again, they've just got those little bits kind of at the edge. So I'm just going to trim those off like that. Gosh, can you hear those birds? They're going crazy, aren't they? As I say, I have no idea what's out there that's so getting them so excited. But 
<laughs> be surprised if we've got anything that's exciting them so much in our garden, but it sounds like we have. Yeah, absolutely so, so, so cute, isn't it? So we've got five little clusters there ready to make some bits of ephemera. And I've got some ready-made bits of ephemera that I put to one side. So let's just pull those in. Oops, if I can find them. Here we go. So, yeah, just a little few things here. Oops. Little few things here that are kind of, you know, on their way to being decorated and made up, really. So let's just take, for instance, this one. And I'm just going to round the corners. This is just a little, you know, little pocket. And let's just round the corners of this. <clears throat> like that. Okay, and then we can obviously use some of our clusters now. This is now going to be a struggle for me because obviously I don't want to cover up any of the gorgeous images, but of course we're going to have to because then otherwise we're not going to be decorating it up at all, are we? So yeah, I'm going to struggle. I think I quite like this one on here, to be honest. Looks cute, doesn't it? And then I wonder if we could have a bit of the white doily on there as well. So let's just pull that in. Yeah, I think there's something about this crisp white doily um, against these colours. It just looks really oh, snow-like, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's kind of looking snow-like. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something about it that I just am really liking. And I'm just wondering whether we could have a bit of lace. Now, obviously, I'm kind of going with the blue lace. I'm not sure whether actually it might look better with something else. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else might look quite nice. Um, trying to think whether I've got any in this colour green. I don't think I have, which is a bit of a shame because that would have been really, really nice. Uh, Right, just having a quick look through my lace that's behind my desk. I've got white, which maybe might look quite pretty. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, prefer that to the blue. So I'm just going to chop that down. Like that. i just chop that in half. Like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And I am just thinking we could just have maybe, you know, like instead of bling, we could maybe go for a few more of those green balls. Let's just cut them down. Oh, you name it, it's obviously stuck on my scissors today. Hmm. Why that is the case, I have no idea. So, kind of like that. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. So, I'm going to just stick the doily down first. Okay. can't believe that we're actually kind of like talking about Christmas and making things for Christmas already it's I know I've said it a hundred times but it's just been such a crazy year it really has you know it just seems oh I'm going to turn that round I think I prefer it that way round um yeah it's just been such a crazy year and um it just doesn't seem possible really that it's coming up to Christmas already you know where has the year gone I wonder I'm getting so covered in this glue because my bottle has split on my um, heat gun so 
it's now literally every time I pick the bottle up it's now like all over me but I mean it doesn't really worry me to be honest but might be a bit horrible for everyone watching I suppose so I do apologize if it's not so great and then we're going to have our lovely oops lovely cluster there I might just glue this with the hot glue because well a I don't dare pick up my fabric tag again <laughs> and um also, you know, I know I always say it, but this really does then give a little bit of a sort of raised effect. You know, if you don't press it down too much, you just get a bit of a sort of puffed out effect there. So it's quite nice to do things like that, I think. And then I've got my little three thingamadigalies. Now, do we like them on that side or do we prefer them this side? I think I do prefer them the side that I've put them so let's just hot glue these down oops okay oops Whoa. okay just going to trim this off here and this side. Oops. Okie dokie. We could even have a little pink flower, I guess. Just these happened to be on my desk and just kind of caught my eye and I thought, oh, perhaps that might look quite nice somewhere. Or do we think we're now getting a bit too much stuff going on? Oh, maybe we are. Oh, it's quite nice down there, though. I've Actually, I've also got some little baby blue flowers, which... Let me just grab them. Hold on, guys. Right, I'm back. I also found these little mint green bows. Um, it's all just by me and my little clear drawers, you know, that we did in the Tidy Fridays, but... I thought definitely going to incorporate one or two of those, I think, somewhere. So let's just have a look. Yeah, I like that blue one. Looks pretty, doesn't it? I mean, I quite liked the pink one, but I think the blue one's nicer. So more in keeping. It's really nice to do a different um, take on Christmas stuff, actually. You know, these colours, they're really pretty. And, um, yeah, it's really nice to do something a little bit different with Christmas rather than just all the red and greens, which, you know, I love and I'm automatically drawn to those. But this is, um, you know, proving to be really quite nice to do something so different. Right. So we've got this one here and this is just one of those envelope pockets that we did in the mass making. Now, again, do I want to actually have a cluster on here or do we think actually the paper's pretty on its own we could just kind of have something like a little label or something on there Oops. it's hard to say isn't it i mean it is very pretty on its own but then the cluster does look cute on there too doesn't it mm -hmm. again i might just quickly ink that up with the red i'm not going to dip it back in the red because it's probably got enough on there yeah quite like it like that I think so again just see whether we want any doily or anything like that just behind it and that's like a double dose of doily but yeah, I think that looks good. Double dose of doily does look good. <laughs> Don't know why, but yeah, it just somehow kind of worked, didn't it, on there? So just go for that. Pop that down there. Okay. And then this time might just, you know, fabric tack this one down. 
Not that it's going over fabric, obviously, because it's not actually, but. Okay. Ah, oh, this glue bottle's driving me nuts. I must change it after this video. really pretty doesn't it okay press that down and then I've got the rest of that white lace do we just want some of that just sort of across the top I mean I guess we could have some there actually that looks quite pretty doesn't it let's just trim that down Very straight so let's just try and straighten it up a bit now do I want to go up a little bit or down I think it's quite nice up a little bit actually so I'm just going to kind of raise that leg from that bow so that I can just pop that down there Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm sure that you're not really enjoying the whole, you know, noisy glue now, but okay. And then I'll just pop a little bit of hot glue down here on this end just to kind of help that stick down there. On. yeah that looks so pretty doesn't it and just wondering whether we want like a little triple kind of I don't know row of pearls or buttons or anything like that we could have I guess you know maybe some blue lace or something across the top let's just have a look like to have something across the top I'm not sure that the blue is quite right let's just have a look I mean the white's super pretty isn't it it kind of keeps it very snowy looking for this page well not page but this this piece I haven't actually put the journal together yet that this is going to go in so um I'll probably do that off camera just because I don't want to end up running out of time you know, before the Christmas thing. Um, now, where's those little pink dot things that I had been using? Because they looked really pretty, didn't they? Those little pink dots. Now, what did I do with those? Well, I know that they're laying around here somewhere and now I can't see them, obviously. Oh, well, let's just bring in another blue flower and just see how that looks. Isn't it? Yeah, I quite like how that looks now. Oh, it's really annoying me now because I kind of think those pink dots might look really good. I've got a couple of different projects on the go at the moment, so it's all piled to the side of my desk. Hence, it's obviously now, you know, everything's now getting buried. But hopefully it's all in aid of, um, you know, a good cause. Kind of what I've got planned for my December stuff. Who knows? Might run out of time, like I keep saying. And not be able to do that at all. But that's what I'm working towards. Oops, just need to trim one more bit. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go for this flower because I can't find those pink dots. They're obviously somewhere close by and I just can't see them. That's fine, the pink flower, uh, the blue flower, sorry, looks super pretty as well, doesn't it? So, yeah, so that's my second piece. So we've got those two 
so far done for our Christmas journal. Really pretty, aren't they? Okay, let's put in another one. Ah, this one. So this is one of those slots pockets that, um, again, we made these in the mass making. Really, really pretty. I mean, this one, I have to say, I'm going to struggle to actually, you know, embellish this very much because I don't want to cover up any of those gorgeous pictures. We've got, obviously, this gorgeous... Um, you know reindeer image here and things so I don't want to necessarily like use a cluster or anything because you know I don't want to cover him up he looks gorgeous as he is so um yeah I'm going to just keep this really plain just probably just add a little bit of lace or something across on the middle and then maybe we could just have like a couple of the dots or something just over there Maybe just like a flower or something. You know, really just keeping it super simple. Um, you know, just because I don't want to don't want to cover up that cute little reindeer. Just gonna check that I wouldn't prefer the blue lace. Oh, the blue lace is quite nice on this one. Let me just drop that down. So I'm just going to get rid of that sort of header piece again. Oops. That. Just check. That's the blue, that's the white. I mean, to be fair, I think both look really nice on there. For me, the blue's just slightly swinging it, I think. Just pop that down. Just trim that off at the back. How pretty is that? Just looks lovely, doesn't it? You know, it really doesn't need anything much at all. I mean, we could try maybe a postage stamp or something. I really don't, you know, don't know whether it needs anything, but we could just give one a try. Got this nice red one. Maybe on this side it's quite cute isn't it the only thing is it's got quite a yellowy quite a yellowy background to that which I'm not so keen on got this one. Oh, that's a shame because that you know the background's much better but yeah I don't like the um, the blue on there it doesn't look quite right let me just see whether I've got any other that are quite bright red i mean when you actually look at red stamps to be honest most of them are not very bright they're mainly quite dull you know a bit more muted so yeah don't seem to have that many bright red ones uh, what are these maybe that if we could have a couple of those or over this side Then we've got some sprigs of holly, which we could have those kind of maybe, maybe coming off of there. Let me just check. Because, I mean, don't forget there's going to be a journaling card in here too. So, I mean, effectively, this section here will actually be quite covered up from the, um, you know, from the journaling card that tucks in. So, what about if we have like a label or something? Nope, nope, nope. Oh no, not that, not that. Um, again, I've got these little bows. That gorgeous minty green one. Not sure about these stamps. They're just, they're a little bit too yellow still. Um, what about this one? one? A bit redder? Not not yellow, sorry, orange. They were a little bit too orange. We've got this one, but it's huge. Would you believe that, you know, I just can't seem to find just the right stamp. Let's just have a look. I'm probably just overthinking this. 
you know, should just go for one. I'm sure it would, you know, no one else is really going to even look at this and care, are they? Or even give it two thoughts, you know, how, <laughs> how bright or not that that stamp is. But you know what it's like as the journal maker, you're, um, you know, you're wanting it to look how you want it to look, aren't you? Right, let's just chop in a little strand of these and see see where we might have these. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, okay. So let's go for that red stamp. Again, it's not that bright, to be honest, you know, I prefer it brighter, but never mind. I could have inked it up, but the thing is, it's the red, really, rather than the edge, if you see what I mean, that I actually would have liked brighter. So just going to go for it as it is. Pop the sprig of honey down. Honey? <laughs> the sprig of honey. I've switched over now into, like, Winnie the Pooh or something. The sprig of holly. Pop that down. And then my little string of pearly dots. Oops. Just snip that off. Just pop a bit of glue on each one and they can just go down there. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Right, and do we want a flower? doesn't really need one but you know more is more as they say so let's just let's just have one anyway always good to have more stuff going on there we go okay and also I forgot to mention but you know again could round the corners on this it doesn't have to be um you know square Obviously, I should have done that really before those pearls, but uh, that was okay. I thought I maybe wasn't going to be able to get into the corner, but it was fine. There we go. So isn't that just so pretty? Okay, so the ones that we have made, obviously, are these three. And obviously, we also made the um, clusters as well. So, yeah, we've made a good start on our Christmas bits so far. And... Um, yeah, I'll hopefully be back with some more. But as I say, I'm going to do quite a bit of this off camera. So um, just to be able to get a little bit ahead, really. So I hope that you like the bits that we've made. And hopefully it might have inspired you a little bit. And um, yeah, obviously the kit's for sale in my Etsy shop if you wanted to go and check that out. And hope you all have a great day. See you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye. <laughs>